welcome back and straight up to our next guest, IoT, who is, a, when I say gospel, who is a soul, <laughs> R&B, Afrobeat singer. And that song is Gambo, right? Welcome to the show. Hi, I'm particularly interested by what I see here, uh, referencing Disney and I'm sure it influenced a couple of things you're doing. Uh, of course, Tiwa, Whiskey, yeah. and David, and you started as a songwriter, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. So here we are. Yeah doing an interview with your music how did the journey start when did you start singing officially i started singing officially august last year wow okay. yeah right so how did you transit from being a songwriter to becoming a singer well like i've always been singing mm, okay um when i was in school somebody heard my song and was like did you write it i said yeah so she told somebody else about me, and then they got me to write for her. So yeah, that's how that one started. But yeah, I've always wanted to do music, like sing, and now I'm doing it. You're doing it. Okay, yeah. so Gamble, what is Gamble about? It's a love song. Mm. It's basically like professing a dying love to someone and saying, please don't use me to gamble. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, is yeah. that the first video, first single, your first? My first, first video, okay. yeah. Because I put out a song, my first song last August, but now this is my first video. Nice. All right, so what was the first song about? Also about love. Wow. Okay, so your <laughs> predominant question is R&B. It's still yeah. more to love yeah. and, yeah, and heartbreak and all the other things and in between. And breakfast and all that. Okay, so your genre will be Afrobeats. So... Yeah. R&B. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is your plan to make it in this market? I know that a lot of ladies are doing well, so many useful sounds and new style of music. So what is your strategy? Um, honestly, I'm just doing me and I'm just like looking at the market and things that are popping. Cause if you leave me, I'll just I'll be singing like <laughs> Celine know, Dion right? type of Songs. music. Yeah, so I just try to find a balance and find a way to merge my actual sound with mm. the, you know, sound of today. Okay, so have yeah. you been trying to push music? Are you you're based in Nigeria, right? Mm -hmm. So have you been trying to push that music? Are you signed to a label? No, I'm not. Wow, so you're basically an independent artist. Yep. So have you been trying to push your music and your sound? It's tough. <laughs> it's not for the week, mm -hmm. but I do what I can. Okay. Yeah. It just requires a lot of fun to keep the shop. Okay. <laughs> yes, it does. Are you doing music full time? Yes, I am. Now. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So there's money coming in from somewhere to push this music. Yeah. I'm also like a model, so. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Okay. There's that. All of that. So are you a full time model? Um, I get asked that a lot. I'm a full-time singer, you know, but I still have to do a little so bit of modeling. So they just call you so that you can use the money for? Oh, yeah. Are you <laughs> available today? Oh, yeah, I'm available. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know that with the women here in Nigeria, who mm -hmm. would you love to, say, do a collaboration with? Tiwa. Everybody wants to do <laughs> Oh, but I love Tiwa. Mm -hmm. I love her so much. I'd love to do a song with her. Mm. Okay, was there any personal experience that made you say, is this music or nothing else? Any personal experience growing up or at a point? Because there's always something that leads people. Some people, they just don't have destination. They just go to <laughs> one point and they hear that. <laughs> you know, so what was that epiphany or that moment where you just thought to yourself, I want to be a singer? Um, before I even knew that I wanted to be a singer, I don't remember how it started, but I just always used to write songs and sing. I was a very, very timid kid. I never could fit in or anything like that. So I was always by myself and I just used to come up with songs. I don't know how I did it, but like from when I was very young, I used to just write and sing. At the time, I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going to be a singer. I was just singing. <laughs> it was just something that helped me feel better. Um, and then, honestly, I don't know at what point, but like I've been doing it for years. And then an opportunity to record a song came like maybe when I was 17. 
and I did, and I was like, oh, this is so cool. I could do this for a living. But I never really did it until last year. But um, so yeah. the, the whole process, has there been any a point where you just said, I don't think I can do this? Yeah, definitely, definitely. As a creative, it's, it's not easy putting yourself out there. It's like, music is like my baby, right? I create this stuff and then I just put it out there for people to judge. And it's, it's like, oh my God, are they going to like it? Are they going to bash me? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, do I really want to put this out? Or oh, maybe I shouldn't. Or oh, maybe I should wait one more year. Maybe I should. Because when I put my first song out in August, I was really, really nervous. Like, I was just, <laughs> I was so scared of, like, the feedback. I thought it was good, but I was like, what if people don't like it? Well, you have to get yeah, like it or yeah. Not. So, so, yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. Just the thought, the judgment, and all of that. But no. You're just doing your thing. What mm -hmm. are the songwriting parts? Because I know there's also a market for songwriters. Do you write for people? Do you write for artists? Or just predominantly yourself? Uh, right now, I'm just writing for myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Savage is also a songwriter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and all of that. Okay, so future plans. What should we expect? What projects are you working on? In the nearest, maybe six months, it's June. We're still in May. Are we in June? No, May. <laughs> okay. Still in May. Yeah, so what projects are you working on? I'm recording music. Okay. And more music, and more music. Mm. Um, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Okay. I might, I might, you know, move into Nollywood a bit. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Nollywood. Okay. But just, just to like challenge myself, just if, if there's an opportunity for that, hmm. why not? Okay. But it's really just music, music, more music. The trendy story we had on feminism. I don't know if you were watching it, where an actress being back and says she does not support feminism. Do you agree? Are you a feminist? I am a feminist, 1,000%. Okay. What's yeah, your own the, brand of in feminism? In the true sense of the word, like mm -hmm. equal rights and opportunities. Not those <laughs> extremists <laughs> on Twitter <laughs> that claim to be feminists. I don't, honestly, like... To each his own, but I don't understand why anyone, especially a woman, will not be a feminist because it just advocates for equal opportunities. Like before, women couldn't do a lot of things. Like now, we have more opportunities, more rights. What's wrong with that? So you have the brand of femi toxic femi feminism, oh, yeah. when you say. I don't want a man. Oh, no, no, that's not <laughs> feminism. That's so not. everything has been mixed up already. Oh, no, no, that's not. It's like, it's like saying, oh, Christianity is bad because in some churches they do this. And No, no. Mm -hmm. There are extremists everywhere. That's not. Those people, that's mm -hmm. not feminism. Okay. That's, that's yeah. good. That's, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. Um, what has the response been like to the video? What's the response, general response from people? Oh. Everybody loves it. Oh, yeah, nice. people like it. Who directed the video? Perlix. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we should be anticipating another video. Of course. Or just recording songs. More songs, more videos. Mm. Is it going to be the same R&B direction? Something more out there? Um, what is it going to be? Honestly, I don't like to put myself in a box. So I'm willing to try a new sound. Something a bit more sexy. It's gonna be sexy, yeah, and you know, yeah. stuff. T was savage. Is that something? Cause yeah. you're a model now, and um, that's what it's the way people see videos. Well, that's what they say sells. Once they see <laughs> beautiful hot girl, but this is also very mm. beautiful. Thank you. So what direction are Thank we looking you. at? Let's keep our hmm. fingers crossed. Hmm. Something more sassy. Hmm. <laughs> something you know more raunchy. <laughs> okay, so before I wrap up, who are your top three ladies in the industry? Female singers. In Nigeria, yes. Um, I feel like Poor I don't killing know how right to now say this. Like, um, first of all, Tiwa because like she's killing it. She's in tour mm -hmm. right now and she's doing her thing. Tiwa, there's there's tens, tens, tens inspires me a lot. Okay, yeah, just because of the 
type of music that she, she does, does in Nigeria and yes. how you know everybody says oh you can't do this type of music in mm. Nigeria you have to do this but she's doing it and it's really inspiring for me okay and then I really like Ira Star. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Those are cool. Cool kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, IOT. Should I call you IOT or Tolu? Call me IOT. Nice. Okay. <laughs> it was really nice having you Thank on the you. show. Thank but you. before we wrap up, uh, we've had a great time. We had trending, we had on this day, and of course, uh, we had the amazing J. Paul and IOT on the show. And we have our word of the day. This is do what you can with what you have, where you are. That's Theodore Roosevelt. Uh, do what you can with what you have, where you are. What do you think of this word of the day? Do what you can with what you have, where you are. Do what you can with what you have, where, where you, you are. are. Mm -hmm. That means just do it. Do it afraid. Yeah, like me, because I was afraid and I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay, guys, so our, also just to note uh, ahead of, we always say this on the show, 2023 is around the corner, so please get your PVC. Do not sell your votes. Your vote is your right. Please vote for the right person. And of course, remember your future. Are you going to be voting? Oh, yeah. Okay. I ask everyone who comes on the show. You're going to be voting. Do you have your PVC with you? With me right now? No, not with you I here. Mean, yeah, but I do. you have it. Yeah. Okay, have it. nice. So we have to be Nigerian <laughs> of course. citizens. Oh, yeah. I'm very patriotic. <laughs> like that. Okay. So this is where we wrap up the show. It's been a fun time. And if you had a great time with us, please make sure to stick around for another great show tomorrow on a Friday. Today's our throwback you know, show literally, and tomorrow is our Faji Friday, so you don't want to miss who will be coming on the show tomorrow, and thank you so much for coming thank on the show. Thank you for having uh, me. Bye, guys. Have an amazing, amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow.